Hi students, good morning. Welcome back to online class. Are you fine students? I hope you all are fine and safe by the grace of God. Students, I am Shanti from Social Science Department. Due to increasing coronavirus, we are not able to continue the regular classes. Government of Tamil Nadu inform no exam for 10th standard. But after the election, they may change their decision. So, our management decided to continue the revision. Because of that, today we will start our revision through online classes. My dear children, I kindly request you to utilize this opportunity and revise day-to-day -day portions. Okay, students, from social science, I will revise geography and economics part. Arul Sarada ma'am will revise history and civics part. Okay. Students, now let us come forward to today's class. In geography part, from the school we revise geography lesson 1. Is it? So, Today, I am going to start the revision for Geography Lesson 2. Today, I am going to start the revision for Geography Lesson 2. The topic of this lesson is Climate and Natural Vegetation of India. Students, the topic of Geography Lesson 2 is Climate and Natural Vegetation of India. Students, like past, an, a past announcement, suppose our government cancelled the exam means also, generally you must know about this chapter because some competitive exams, they will ask some general question from this chapter. Okay, so students, I kindly request you to listen very careful and revise and prepare some one word question from this topic. Okay. Now, once again, I will uh, repeat the topic. Today's revision's topic is climate and natural vegetation of India. Okay. Climate and natural vegetation of India. Students, first of all, we know about climate and weather. For example, the climate and weather will change for one region to other region and one uh, country to other country. So, because of that, uh, we are changing our lifestyle during that particular climate and weather period. For example, during summer, we drink more water, is it? La but we do not drink the same amount of water during winter. And also, why do we wear cotton or lighter clothes during summer season? Because summer season we get very heat, is it? So because of that, we are wearing cotton or lighter clothes. And heavy woolen clothes are we are wearing in cold weather season, is it? For example, mostly in northern India, the people wear uh, wearing cold, uh, uh, woolen clothes. They are wearing woolen clothes because most of the northern part of the uh, country are very cold seasons, uh, climate, is it? So, because of that, the prevalence of varying weather condition between North and South India. That means, this is because of prevalence of varying weather condition, weather and climate condition between the North India and the South India. Okay. First of all, I am going to explain weather and climate. Okay. Weather and climate. Weather. Weather refers to state of atmosphere of a place at a given point of time. Weather refers to state of atmosphere of a place at a given point of time. But in the same time, 
climate is the accumulation of daily and seasonal weather events of a given location over a period of 30 to 35 years now listen students whether weather refers to state the atmosphere of a place at a point of time a particular time but climate is accumulation of daily daily uh, they are uh, we are getting the uh, climate and seasonal weather events of a given location over a period of 30 to 35 years okay then from uh, climate uh, there are different kinds of climates are there for example uh, tropical monsoon climate equable climate etc is it uh, from he climate he equable climate it is one of the most important climate that means india uh, get equable climate okay this equable climate is also called as the british climate this is important one word question equable climate is also called the british climate okay british climate equable climate is also called as which climate students British climate okay uh, that means which is neither too hot nor too cold British climate means neither too hot or too cold okay this climate of India affect some of the factor okay uh, for example uh, some of the factors are affecting the climate of India okay today in this class I am going to revise what are the factors affecting the climate of India okay what are the factors affecting the climate of India already from the school uh, once uh, I explained uh, again I am going to revise what are the climates are affecting what are the factors are affecting the climate of India uh, there are mainly uh, six factors are affecting the climate of India the first one is latitude second one is altitude third one is distance from the seas fourth one is monsoon wind fifth one is relief features and the last one is jet stream okay now students the six factors are affecting the climate of india the first one is latitude the second one is altitude third one is distance from the seas fourth one is monsoon wind fifth one is relief features and the last one is jet stream okay now just i will revise uh, each factors for example the first one is latitude okay the first one is latitude latitudinally india lies between 8 degree 4 power north and 37 degree 6 minutes north latitudes okay latitudinally india lies between 8 degree 4 minutes north and 37 degree 6 minutes north latitude and also the tropic of cancer divides our country into two equal part is it we everyone know if we see the india map means in the middle one uh, cross line is there is it the tropic of cancer it divides india as two parts okay two parts uh, they are located the south of tropic of cancer and the north of tropic of cancer the two parts are located the south of tropic of cancer and the north of tropic of cancer um, the south of tropic of cancer experiences high temperature uh, no co cold season uh, but the north of the parallel enjoys subtropical climate okay anyway the first factors affecting the climate of india is latitude okay then the second one is altitude when altitude increases the temperature decreases is it when altitude increases the temperature where decreases temperature decreases the rate of 6.5 degree celsius every thousand meters of ascent it is called normal lapse rate two more question we land is it normal lapse rate 
okay students then the third one is distance from the sea the third one is distance from the sea uh, in india large areas were covered by sea and also especially the peninsular region is not very far from the sea the peninsular area is not very uh, not very far from the sea and this entire area has a clear maritime influences on climate this part of the country does not have very clearly marked winter and the temperature is equable almost throughout the year okay here summers are hot and winters are cold here summers are very hot and winters are very cold okay then uh, the next one is monsoon wind is it the next one is monsoon wind most dominant factor which affects the climate of india is this monsoon wind okay one of the most dominant factor which affects the climate of india is monsoon wind okay uh, that means the onset of southwest monsoon brings down the temperature of the entire india and causes moderate to heavy rainfall in many parts of the country similarly the climate of southeast india is also influenced by northeast monsoon okay anyway this monsoon wind is one of the dominant factor affect the climate of india okay then the next one is relief the next one is relief okay relief relief of india has a great bearing on major elements of climate such as temperature atmospheric pressure direction of winds and the amount of rainfall okay relief of india has a great bearing on major elements of climate such as temperature atmospheric pressure direction of winds and the amount of rainfall okay then the last one is jet stream okay the last factor affecting the climate of india is jet stream okay jet streams it is or the jet stream or the fast moving winds okay jet streams are the fast moving winds it blowing in a narrow zone in the upper atmosphere okay jet stream are the fast moving winds blowing in a narrow zone in the upper atmosphere okay onset of southwest monsoon is driven by the shift of the subtropical westerly jet from the plains of india towards the tibetan plateau okay in the same time the easterly jet streams cause tropical depression both during southwest monsoon and retreating monsoon okay jet stream are fast moving winds it is blowing in a narrow zone in the upper atmosphere and also this particular uh, uh, jet stream uh, monsoon is driven by shift of the subtropical westerly jet from plains of india towards tibetan plateau easterly jet stream cause tropical de uh, depression both during southwest monsoon and retreating monsoon okay these are the factors affecting the climate of india okay students okay from here uh, some one word questions are there for example one of the important one word question uh, which climate is also called the british climate very good equable climate is it equable climate otherwise the question will come likewise this is general question okay students equable climate is also called as the british climate okay equable climate is also called the british climate okay and also weather weather means it refers to state the atmospheric place at a given point of time but climate is the daily and seasonal weather events given the location over a period of 32 to 35 years okay 30 to 35 years and also students uh, from here we learned two uh, 
uh, important two more questions. Uh, the first question is list the factors affecting the climate of India. List the factors affecting the climate of India. Uh, now you everyone know the answer is it the climate of India is affected by the factors of latitude, altitude, distance from the seas, monsoon wind, relief, jet stream. Okay. What are the factors affecting the climate of India? Latitude, altitude, distance from the seas, monsoon wind, relief features and jet streams. Okay. Then the next important question is what is mean by normal lapse rate? Okay. The next question is, what is mean by normal lapse rate? Okay, normal lapse rate. Now, normal lapse rate means when the altitude increase, the temperature decreases. Is it? For example, altitude. Altitude means height. Is it? When the height increase, the temperature will decreases. Then temperature decreases at the rate of 6.5 degrees Celsius every thousand meters of ascent. That is called normal lapse rate. Okay. Now, once again, I will uh, repeat students. Uh, normal lapse rate. Normal lapse rate that means the altitude increases, the temperature decreases. Okay. The altitude increases, the temperature decreases. Temperature decreases the rate of 6.5 degrees Celsius for every thousand meters of ascent. It is called normal lapse rate. Okay. What is mean by normal lapse rate? The altitude increases, the temperature decreases. Temperature decreases at the rate of 6.5 degrees Celsius for every 1000 meters of ascent. It is called normal lapse rate. Okay. Students, the next question is, what are jet streams? Okay, what are jet streams? Jet streams are the fast moving winds blowing in a narrow zone in the upper atmosphere. Jet stream. First, what are jet stream? Jet streams are the fast moving winds. With that particular wind is blowing in a narrow zone in the upper atmosphere. Okay. Then, onset of southwest monsoon is driven by the shift of the subtropical westerly jet from the plains of India towards the Tibetan plateau and easterly jet streams cause tropical depression both during southwest monsoon and retreating monsoons. Okay. Then, the next question is, Write a short note on monsoon wind. Okay, write a short note on monsoon wind. Now, the onset of southwest monsoon brings down the temperature of the entire India and it causes moderate to heavy rainfall in many parts of the country. Okay. Similarly, the climate of Southeast India is also influenced by Northeast monsoon. Okay. That is the uh, monsoon wind. Okay. Monsoon wind. This monsoon wind is one of the most dominant factor which affects the climate of India. Which factor is mostly dominated to affect the uh, climate of India? Monsoon wind. Okay, this monsoon wind is one of the most dominant factor which affects the climate of India. Okay, then from here, students, uh, four two more questions are there. Some one word questions are also there. Okay, you should prepare this one. It will use to some of the competitive exams also. Okay, okay, students. Now I will uh, revise uh, two maps. Okay. Now, I will revise two maps. The first one is forest. Okay, forest in India. Forest in India. There are two types of forest. Mountain forest and evergreen forest are there. Tropical forest. That means tropical forest. Mountain forest and tropical 
ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ഓക്കെ ഹിയർ ഗിവൺ മൗണ്ടൈൻ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ സം ഓഫ് ദ വെസ്റ്റൻ ഗോഡ്സ് ഏരിയ ജസ്റ്റ് യു സി ദ മാപ്പ് ദ വെസ്റ്റൻ ഗോഡ്സ് ഏരിയ ആൻഡ് സം അതർ ഏരിയാസ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ അസം ദറ്റ് മേഘാലയ ദീസ് ഏരിയാസ് എൻഡ് ആൾ സം ഓഫ് ദ മൗണ്ടൈൻ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ആർ ദയർ ദെൻ ട്രോപ്പിക്കൽ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ജമ്മു കാശ്മീർ അരുണാചൽ പ്രദേശ് ദീസ് ഏരിയാസ് വി ക്യാൻ സി സം ഓഫ് ദ ട്രാപ്പിക്കൽ എവർ ഗ്രീൻ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് മോസ്റ്റ്ലി ദ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ഏരിയ ഇഫ് ദ ആസ് മീൻസ് യു ഹാവ് ടു മാർക്ക് ദ ജമ്മു കാശ്മീർ ജമ്മു കാശ്മീർ ഏരിയ യു ക്യാൻ മാർക്ക് ഫ്രം ദെയർ ഓൺലി ഹിമാചൽ പ്രദേശ് ഉത്തർഖാണ്ഡ് ഹിമാചൽ പ്രദേശ് ഉത്തർഖാണ്ഡ് നിയർ ബൈ ജമ്മു കാശ്മീർ ഓക്കെ നിയർ ബൈ ജമ്മു കാശ്മീർ ഹിമാചൽ പ്രദേശ് ആൻഡ് ഉത്തർഖാണ്ഡ് ആൾസോ ദ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ഏരിയ ദെൻ വെസ്റ്റേൺ ഗോഡ്സ് ഏരിയ വെസ്റ്റേൺ ഗോഡ്സ് ഏരിയ ആൾസോ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ഏരിയ ദെൻ അസം സം ഓഫ് ദ ഏരിയാസ് ദെൻ അരുണാചൽ പ്രദേശ് സം ഓഫ് ദ ഏരിയാസ് ദീസ് ഓൾ ഏരിയാസ് ഹാവ് മൗണ്ടൈൻ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ട്രോപ്പിക്കൽ എവർ ഗ്രീൻ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ഓക്കെ മൗണ്ടൈൻ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഡിഫൈൻ ആസ് ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ഓൺ ലാൻഡ് വിത്ത് ആൻഡ് എലിവേഷൻ ഓഫ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫൈവ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് മീറ്റർ അബോവ് ദ സി ലെവൽ okay mountain forest are defined as forest on land with an elevation of 2500 meter above the sea level okay now can you understand students mountain forest if one place has means you have to mark the jammu kashmir area okay jammu kashmir area you can mark okay then the second map is uh, heavy rainfall area okay here given some of the heavy rainfall uh, state in india okay some of the heavy rainfall state in india uh, here in the map given for example uh, here karnataka kerala okay karnataka kerala odisha west bengal arunachal pradesh assam meghalaya uh, uttarakhand sikkim uh, these are the uh, states important states have heavy rainfall okay these states have heavy rainfall once again i will repeat uh, in india some of the states has heavy rainfall state for example karnataka kerala uh, then odisha west bengal sikkim meghalaya assam arunachal pradesh and uttarakhand okay then from here uh, in india one of the important place is heavy rainfall place that is uh, wettest place in the world that is wettest place in the world uh, that is called mouse syndrome okay mouse syndrome now just you see the map students this is they there uh, they point out this particular mouse syndrome area okay find out the mouse syndrome area uh, this mouse syndrome only the wettest place uh, in uh, india for example heavy rainfall area is mouse syndrome it is uh, uh, near the kosi hills mouse syndrome of kosi hills um, it is in meghalaya state the mouse syndrome it is in meghalaya state it is located in north east india okay mouse syndrome it is the heavy rainfall area uh, it is in meghalaya state in north east india uh, it is the wettest place of india and of the world this mouse syndrome is the wettest place of india and the world important one word question the competitive exam also they will ask okay very listen careful students um, mouse syndrome very wettest that means heavy rainfall area it is very wettest place in india and of the world okay it is located at the top of the hill in the middle valley this mouse syndrome is located in the top of the hill in the middle valley uh, it is 60.9 km from sillang 
okay it is 60.9 kilometers from Silang. now listen this map students here separately given then Meghalaya Meghalaya uh, nearby see uh, just you see uh, that is Silang Silang did you see uh, from Silang 60.9 kilometer from Silang this mouse ram is there then uh, nearby uh, mouse ram Sirapunji is there okay Sirapunji is there okay uh, this is the uh, Meghalaya uh, state and in the place of mouse ram nearby Silang and Sirapunji okay now this place are get heavy rainfall okay We're totally we are comparing in india this particular place get heavy rainfall okay listen very careful students these two maps uh, first one is uh, forest areas for example jammu kashmir areas himachal pradesh Uttarkhand uh, for and also uh, that is Sikking area uh, then Arunachal Pradesh Assam then mostly Western Ghats important uh, forest uh, sorry mountain forest areas uh, then um, next we land about the heavy rainfall area heavy rainfall area Mausin Ram it is in Meghalaya state uh, this state is located in uh, North East India it is one of the wettest place of India and of the world okay Mausindram is the wettest place of India and of the world this uh, place is located on the top of the hill in the middle valley uh, it is 60.9 kilometers from from the Silang Okay, these two maps are also very very important. The remaining topics and maps I will revise the next class. Okay, students, you have to learn uh, from these topics all the question answers and this map. Okay, we will meet the next class. Thank you, students.